Hi guys, just wanted to do a quick little tutorial. Um, the method I use when I've got a Hugen stitched image with some imperfections and just how I clean that up. The one big thing to remember is when you're making your stitched image um, in Hugen to make sure that you save the um, intermediate files when you create the panorama. So the little box that says keep intermediate images and that makes sure that it saves all the corrected frames that it's transformed that you can then drop back into your image to um, overlay the, where the problem area is. So just loading the, the final stitched image into GIMP and I'd normally just do a, a scroll around the image to see if there are any stitch um, errors. This one here, amazingly, even though I did it really roughly with no tripod and, and quite quickly, turned out really well. I used the Fuji X100, which is pretty good for stitching because it's got such a short distance between the lens and the focal plane, so the parallax error is is minimal. But you can see here just on the sleeve there is a stitching error there that I'd want to fix up. So once you've sort of identified where the errors are, you go and grab one of the TIFF files that's produced, covers that area and just drop it into GIMP um, as a layer and just moving it on top there. Now to line them up, I would normally just first roughly look at an area like his eye, just drop eye on top of eye so it's roughly lined up and then use the difference uh, mode and you can zoom in and you can just drag and drop and move it around it. Once everything turns completely black, you know you've got the two images aligned. You can use the, the keyboard, the left and right, to move one pixel at a time. You can see there the area that's completely black is where that image has been used and the other areas that are not completely black is where that image hasn't been used. Here you can see the difference, just turning the layer on and off. So what I want to do is just mask out completely that layer that I've dropped in and then just blend in the area that I want to use. So I'm just using the um, eraser there just to make a hole in the mask so you can see through it. When you've got a, a subject like this, like he's obviously the guy waiting at the bus stop is the dominant character, I'll often just go around him completely to make sure there's no little um, parts that I might have missed. You know, there might be bits in his fabric or his toes or something that I haven't immediately seen. And just blending in that single exposure of him makes sure that there won't be any fault with him. And that's, you know, he's the subject, that's where the eye is drawn to, so that's what people are going to look at. And you don't want later on like, to see any little faults. So basically I just go around the outline of him, blending it in or erasing the area, and then have a look at the layer mask that I've made and just make sure I've got a complete outline of it. So I missed the shoulder there, so just drawing that back in. And it's blended into the background well, so I know that I can just block in all that middle black part and, and we'll have a nice clean single shot of him. There'll be no blending or stitching errors where he is sitting. There might be a couple of little stitching errors outside of the main subject that I haven't seen. But, you know, it may never be perfect, but it'll probably be good enough. You can spend a lot of time looking for tiny little stitching errors everywhere. Um, if the image is really important, I guess you would. But there we can see that he's nicely nice and sharp and um, no errors on him at least. I've got this little black bit in the corner there because I didn't take enough photos because I was doing it roughly but I can just scale the image or skew the image and just cover that just because I didn't want to crop because I'd lose, lose the bottom of his foot there sort of thing but that's sort of another trick just a little perspective um, skew to make it look make it look reasonable and just exporting the image now if there are any questions about how to shoot or how to stitch in Hoogan 
there's a separate video that I made um, for that and I'll put the link below. This video is just concerned with how you fix little errors um, using GIMP. And uh, thanks very much.